In this video, we will explore the world of squid, examining their natural habitat, how it gets food, predator-prey relationship, unique evolution trait, and where they're located on the tree of life. Join us as we dive into the fascinating and often surprising world of these remarkable cephalopods. Let's start by talking about the natural habitat of a squid. Tufida, commonly known as squid, are found in various types of ocean, from shallow water to deep sea, and in various types of temperature. Most squid are found in the epipelagic zone. Tufida, commonly known as squid, are found in the epipelagic zone is the most upper layer of the ocean. The zone ranges from the surface of the ocean to the depth of 200 meters. In the epipelagic zone, there is abundant sunlight that supports photosynthesis of the plant and organism, making this layer home to majority of the marine life. Moving on, how do squid get its food? By retracting their tentacles, squid are able to pull and drag the prey within the proximity of their arm. Then, the squid brings the prey to its beak and begin the feeding process. What is the predator-prey relationship of a squid? As a predator, squid has a varied diet, feeding on a wide range of marine organisms from fish to crustaceans. As a prey, squid are preyed upon by various predators including shark, fish, cetaceans, sperm whale, and even by other squids. Where do squid locate on the tree of life? Squid belongs to the phylum mollusca, which is a diverse group of invertebrate animals that include snail, clam, and octopus. More specifically, squid are a member of the class Cephalopod, which is also including octopuses, cuttlefish, and nautiluses. Within the class of Cephalopod, squid are in the order of two tufida. So on the tree of life, squid can be located under kingdom Anomalia, the phylum Mollusca, the class Cephalopods, and the order tufida. What are some major evolution traits of squid? A major evolutionary trait unique to squid is that squids are chromatophores. Chromatophores is a pigment cell that allows squid to change color and blend into the environment to escape predation or to better help with catching prey. What's the importance of squid to their ecosystem? In its ecosystem, squid is an important part of the food web, like said earlier in the video. What's the importance of squid to humankind? To humankind, squid is a valuable seafood commercially harvested around the world for their rich protein, vitamin, and mineral, which make them a nutritious food source. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.